Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today's video is going to be a summer period day in my life and I know that when this video is going up, it's probably a little closer to summer but the current date that I'm filming this is Monday, May 30th and so I know it's not technically summer yet but I'm on my summer break. I'm finished all my final exams and I'm done school so it's summer for me. I actually just woke up and it is 9.35 a.m. Sorry if you can hear my family talking by the way, I live with like four other people, three other people. I don't know, whatever. And as you can see on flow, I am on day two. I got my period yesterday. As you can see, period day two. Hello, please focus. And on flow, I've already logged the symptoms of cramps and a tender chest. If you use flow, you know that symptom you can mark. I usually just keep logging like throughout the day how I'm feeling because I just woke up. I don't really know how exactly I like feel all around yet. I actually have such a period horror story story time for you guys. If you follow me on Instagram, you already know this. Like if you were watching my stories yesterday on Sunday, May 29th. But it's basically a story time about how I got my period. This is like the first time it came at like a really inconvenient time like in a really public place. It was horrifying. I'll just tell you right now. And I posted like all about this on my Instagram story. So maybe I'll like put these here like as I talk about what I talked about on there. But anyway, I was at a baseball game yesterday with my family. And so yesterday like when I was like going to the baseball game, my flow up told me I wasn't getting my period for like seven days because even though I was on day like 27 of my cycle, my period cycles like my menstrual cycles are usually on the longer side like 30 to 40 days So my flow up was actually predicting right based off like my past cycles Anyway, I was just casually sitting there and watching the baseball game or whatever with my family And then I felt something down there and that was I, I don't know I mean sometimes, you know, I tried to talk myself out of it I tried to say like my flow up says it's not coming yet I really don't think I have my period yet, but I did definitely feel something so I instantly told my mom I think I got my period because she was sitting next to me and she was like well you better go check and I was like eh, it's fine it's probably not my period but I was going to get ice cream anyway like at the stands like outside of the stadium so I went with my aunt because my mom wanted to just watch the game I went with my aunt to go get some Dippin' Dots but before I went to get the Dippin' Dots I went to the bathroom just to be safe I like told my aunt like I'm just going to the bathroom like before we go get this and the bathroom was like kind of dark so I couldn't see my underwear right away but I was like oh I probably didn't get it but then I wiped and it was a murder scene and then and I did look at my underwear closer and they were officially stained forever. They were like a really nice royal blue color and... Well, they can rest in peace now. Anyway, I was like, what do I do now? I did not pack a pad. I literally always joke about this with my family, but if you've watched me for a while, or if you just stumbled upon my channel, I make so many period videos. I'm always telling you guys, be prepared, take pads with you everywhere. I never bring pads with me. I always depend on my mom to have them or like my aunt to have them. I should really start packing them. Like I will bring pads like if I'm going out already on my period or like I'm just about to get it, but like I never just have pads like packed in my bag. It's so bad. But in all fairness to me, I did not think it was coming for a week. Week. But then again, I had a lot of the symptoms like I started breaking out more my cameras making my skin look clear But I actually do have a lot of pimples right now And I was also just feeling really moody and tired and like I felt some cramps You know, I probably should have known it was coming anyway I shouldn't always depend on my period tracker app to know exactly So I was just sitting there in the bathroom stall and then I took just a bunch of this really thin gross Like bunched up toilet paper and I literally just like shoved it in my underwear and like wrapped it all around It was such a nightmare and it was honestly taking forever because the toilet paper was like such bad quality and then my aunt was so concerned about me because I was taking so long and like I couldn't show it across to her I don't like to be a couple minutes so she was calling into the bathroom like Ruby Ruby are you okay so that was really embarrassing too but then I got my ice cream you know told my aunt what happened and then I like went back to like obviously watching the game and I was just praying to not leak through the toilet paper for the rest of the time my mom and my aunt both did not pack any pads and my mom was like I always have them but of course today when you need them I don't so it was pretty much a nightmare and I had already leaked but I had I hadn't thankfully leaked through my pants yet, only my underwear, so I could just like kind of sit there in my stained underwear and the toilet paper. It's just like, I hate periods so much, like of course it had to come at- I just felt a clot slip out of me. Okay. I hate periods. Like, why did it have to come at the worst time possible? Like, when I'm at a baseball game, like, out in public. Like, I never really had a true, like, period horror story before this. But now, I definitely understand the feelings that people get, like, when they get their period in a kind of place like this. But what's really funny is, actually, before we left for the game, I was gonna wear these light gray sweatpants. 
Thank God I changed my mind. I ended up actually wearing a pair of my period pants. Not like period pants, but like just period like colored pants. Like my red plaid pajama pants. Like if you've watched my period days in my life for a while, you know all about the infamous period pants. I wore my comfy like pajama pair to sleep last night. I'm obviously still in my pajamas. Like it's summer break and I'm on my period. So I'm just gonna wear my pajamas all day pretty much. But anyway, it's kind of like I knew my period was coming. Like subconsciously, like I wore those pants. It was really weird. I thought yesterday like I should be happy my cycles are like getting like shorter and more regular but they're usually so long and irregular so like why did it have to like suddenly change then like at the worst possible time but yeah I also had cramps which was the worst because I was just sitting there like in this hard like fold out seat watching the game it was just such a nightmare and I had to keep like going to the bathroom to like change the toilet paper because it was so bad and so thin and my aunt came with me once and she literally asked like three women in the bathroom if they like had a pad or something and they all like sympathized but none of them did but anyway it was just like all really embarrassing and then it actually all worked out and like my underwear is probably stained forever but before we went home like we finally went home and we managed to actually go get me a pad at the first aid And I changed into that before we got in the car and drove home. So I was finally okay I was really really glad I didn't have to sit in toilet paper on the drive home But anyway, that's how I got my period yesterday I'm just stupid and I should have known it was coming and I should always have pads on me anyway That's the moral of the story. Don't be like me Anyway, I woke up with really bad cramps and just like a complete like ugh, like wet feeling down there Like I just couldn't wait to change my pad and I did and now I'm already soaking this pad day two is literally the heaviest i hate it so much so what is on the agenda for today is honestly not that much i'm gonna do some editing for you guys i'm just so happy like this is one of the first period days in my life where i can just say like no school work like it is so nice to be on your period during summer and just like not have school work to do like it just makes me feel so much better and i just always have such an easier period like when i don't have to do school work this is actually my second summer having a period because i got my period in november 2020 so i had summer 2021 and i had a couple periods but this is my second summer so hopefully Hopefully it doesn't get too hot where I live because I hate having a period in the heat But anyway, I'm about to eat my breakfast My mom just made me some oatmeal and I'm actually just getting my calendar because I do want to mark hang on I'm just getting a pencil. I do want to mark when I got my period So yesterday on the 29th, I just do a little P with a circle and you guys know this So there we go. Now I've tracked that period. This is actually my second period in May I know that sounds really weird, but the first period I got this May came on Monday May 2nd I actually did a kind of cool edition of a period Period week in my life for that period I'll link that right here this is my second period in May because my cycle lasted only 27 days and it's also my fifth period of 2022 anyway I'm just really like you know not happy right now but I am excited because later I am probably going shopping like for summer and stuff with my best friend but anyway I'm going to eat my breakfast now and go on my phone a little just kind of relax because I'm in a lot of pain I'm having really bad cramps I might get out my heating pad while I eat breakfast actually that's a good idea I'm going to get that heating pads are lifesavers <laughs> What's annoying though about like using heat to get rid of cramps is like when it's hot during summer That's really uncomfortable. I'm gonna move you guys over here I'm putting it on medium for now and I'm gonna eat and go on my phone Hey guys, so it is around lunchtime now and I'm about to eat. My food is like on my desk, but my mom is doing laundry and so I literally had to change out of my period sweatpants into these light pink and gray sweatpants. So if I leak, this will be disastrous. So I'm gonna go change my pad like after I eat my lunch. And I'm also just wearing this like warm sweatshirt because even though it's summer, my family's like, you know, cranking the air conditioner. So it's kind of cold in here. So I'm just wearing this Taylor Swift sweatshirt. I just love Taylor Swift so much. I'm gonna listen to her a little later, like probably while I'm getting ready to go see my friend just because I absolutely love her. She's my favorite singer and her music always just helps me feel better. Not even just like when I'm on my period. So anyway, that's just the little like outfit right now. As you can see, I just stay in my pajamas like literally all day when I'm on my period. So now I'm going to eat and it's kind of dark in here actually like in my room. So I'm just turning on my LEDs, LED lights and my little lamp. I'm just like in a lot of pain right now because I have really bad cramps, but I also have like a really bad like ingrown pimple just because like I break out so much when I'm like about to get my period. Anyway, my mom just made me this salad and it has some like salmon in it and some red pepper and cucumber and tomato and lettuce. It's just really, really important when you're on your period to have like water dense foods, if that makes sense. Like eat a lot of like cucumbers and lettuce because that has water and you want to hydrate. I also have my water bottle right here because I just want to hydrate a lot. I'm losing a lot of blood. But something else that honestly cheers me up a lot, like just when I'm on my period is I actually just recently published my first book on Amazon and I have just a copy of it right here on my desk. And 
I just like looking at it. It just makes me really happy because writing is something I really love to do. Just like, you know, looking at this, which is what I wrote, it's something I'm really proud of. If you didn't know, like if this is your first time on my channel or you just haven't like caught up with my channel in a while, I did write a book and publish it on Amazon and I did tons of videos on it like when the whole launch thing was going on. The link to the book if you want to go buy it and like just have like a nice summer read with like a relatable teen book, the link will be down below and the link for my book will be in all my future videos. Anyway, now I'm going to eat my salad and probably just like watch YouTube at the same time. I also want to do editing though. I mean like after I finish my lunch, I want to do some editing because like I'll be out with my friend in the afternoon. So I want to get some stuff done for you guys before that. So anyway, yeah, let's eat and watch YouTube. I actually can't find anything to watch on YouTube, so I'm actually just going to watch some Grey's Anatomy. I'm on the current season of Grey's Anatomy, but I love re-watching like the older seasons, so that's what I'm gonna do. Hey guys, so I'm changing my pad right now, and do you ever just like, like I'm on day two right now, and it is so heavy, like the entire pad was once white. And do you ever just like guys or just like anyone who doesn't have a period like they just go about their like summer or like their life And they just don't deal with this but we people who have periods it doesn't add up like every single week of every month for decades we have to deal with this and then there's pms it's just like how is that fair like how is this fair like that i have to like just deal with this like how is that accepted you know what i mean like i just can't have like a normal summer like what if i like wanted to not like go shopping like with my friend today and like i wanted to go to the beach like i couldn't like it takes so much like planning like everything like it just interferes with everything and so like it's hard to have a good summer and i'm only at the very beginning of my summer break and so i'm probably gonna have like two more maybe even three more periods until I go back to school so it's just like ruining my summer but I am kind of <laughs> so you know when you like cough and yeah so I just looked in the toilet and there's just it's good that I got my period early actually because I might be traveling in June or just like in the next couple weeks And so if it came late, I would have to deal with my period while traveling I actually did a whole video on like how to deal with traveling and like being on the go with your period I'll link that right here I think it should be helpful since it's like summer and like probably a lot of people are going on vacation and stuff There's like good and bad parts about my period coming early It's honestly like it feels like summer and like it is kind of summer for me But at the same time like when I'm on my period, it just feels like a completely like relaxed like boring like tiring day so this is like a summer period day in my life and it will probably feel more like summery when i go out with my friend later because we'll have fun together but like when i'm just like at home i just don't feel like i'm like really like having a summer break like maybe this is just me but like i really don't go to the beach every day and like see friends every single day and like go to the amusement park every single day like i do do stuff during the summer but like i feel like on social media people make summer seem like oh wow i'm just gonna go out with all my friends and just have the best social life ever like if you can relate because sometimes i feel like i'm the only one who does not have a social life i literally have like one friend my best friend i mean like i have some other friends but like you know what i mean my one like really close friend anyway i'm going to change my pad right now and we're like almost at a regular pad so i might have to just wear an overnight pad to shopping with my best friend so anyway i'm gonna change my pad because it's literally soaked It's so funny when I like put on a pad now because I still remember like when I first like got my period and it took me like forever to put a pad on and honestly sometimes I still like struggle with it even though I've had my period for a while. It's just hard to like place it perfectly but now I like do it really quickly. It's just so funny like how used to it I've gotten because I remember when I got my first period I was like I can't believe I'm gonna have to like know how to do this every month but it's so easy like if you're watching this and you just got your first period you haven't gotten your period yet or something it really gets so easy like I might complain about having a period but I'm very like used to it now like it doesn't stay as foreign as it seems to you like right now anyway now that my pad has changed i'm going to go have some delicious sugary sweet snacks because i'm having cravings which i always do when i'm on my period so i'm actually going to go on to flow right now and log cravings as you can see right there this period actually i'm not having as many mood swings i mean i think it's honestly because when i was in school like doing school i was definitely a lot more like moody but now i'm kind of just happy because it's summer like honestly just having a period during during summer is just like especially if you're not like going out like in really like hot heat obviously then your period is like really inconvenient during summer anyway i'm gonna go get some snacks so come with me to the kitchen also like i just thought of this like as i was closing this little period door that i have i'll show you i've shown this in like all my other period days and weeks of my life but i'll just like show you if you're new to my channel go watch my other period days and weeks of my life for like more information on it but i just like have a whole like drawer that my mom set up of just like tons of like period products like everything i need like pads overnight pads panty liners whatever but um 
imagine how much someone who has a period has to spend like on those products versus like someone who just doesn't have periods like people who don't have periods save so much money like throughout their whole lifetime it's just so unfair like I just keep thinking of stuff like this and it's just literally so unfair anyway I'm gonna stop talking and I'm going to go get some snacks probably chocolate honestly <laughs> Hey guys, so my best friend and her mom are like about to pick me up so that we can go to the mall together And I am just wearing these red plaid pajama pants because I literally just do not care And I'm also just wearing this you can't really see the leggings really bad But this just black tank top and then this all too well zip up hoodie It has the 10 minute version of Taylor Swift's song all too well on the back I love this as you can see I also did my makeup to look more presentable because I just literally looked so exhausted before because of my period and I'm just tired But yeah, anyway, I'm going to go actually change into an overnight pad right now and then also like put some pads in my purse just in case like I need to change it at the mall and I'm wearing an overnight pad just so, like I really don't have to worry about leaking so yeah let's go do that <laughs> So I'm now home from shopping and like just hanging out with my friend and it was so much fun It was really good to see her However at the end I literally started getting such bad pain like with cramps and everything and my feet like I'm just so glad to be home And now I get to eat my dinner. It's like almost seven I think I don't know what time it is But yeah when I came home and changed my overnight pad This is why I always tell like people just to like wear pads with wings like on my channel I always tell you guys to wear pads with wings because if I did not wear pads with wings Like it goes on the edges like it would leak on my underwear and like onto my pants Anyway, I did get some stuff at Target so I thought I would do a quick little haul before for my dinner. I got some more pads. This is the brand I use. If you were wondering, I'll just show you. These are the regular pads that I use. I'll link them down below for you guys. And then I got Oreo Mint Thins. I also got some Baker's Chocolate. I literally bought so much chocolate. There's still more chocolate. As you can see, I bought some more chocolate chips. These are literally my favorite chocolate chips. I'm actually going to link all of this down below. The Oreo Mint Thins, the Baker's Chocolate, and these chocolate chips. I also bought this new skin cleanser because I'm almost out of mine and I just break out so badly on my period, so I got some of this. And then I also got a new mascara. This is the mascara I use. I will link all of this down below. This and also this. It's the one I'm wearing right now and I'm I'm almost out of it so I got some of that. And then the last thing I got was just some Trident gum. But yeah, that's all for my Target haul and so now I'm going to eat dinner. My aunt made me this like really cool thing. I don't know what it is. It's like a veggie like tofu rice bean thing. And then I just have some berries here. And my little multivitamin, my Flintstones vitamin I take every night. Hey guys, so I just took a shower and the current time is 10 16 p.m. So I'm probably not gonna go to bed for like over two hours, but it's even hard to like stand up. I just I get really painful periods. By the way, if you hear some like dripping or whatever, it's literally my shower draining. It's so hard for me to even just like stand up in the shower without getting like my pelvic floor pain and like leg pain. And then I started getting like really bad cramps in the shower. I don't know, I just get like really painful periods and not even I mean they're painful, but just like discomfort. You know what I mean? Like comment down below if you can really Late, but I just absolutely love like getting out of the shower after a period and feeling I'm probably gonna go just do some editing and like YouTube stuff for a little while I'm gonna stop talking I'm gonna put on a regular pad right now And then the next time I change my pad will be when I change into my overnight pad before I go to sleep I'm just getting a regular pad right now I'm really glad I bought more today at Target because like I only have a few left of the regular ones Okay, so now that the pad is on I am going to go back to my room
Okay guys, so it is currently 11.33 p.m. and I know I said I was going to go to bed like an hour from now, but I'm actually really, really tired. Honestly, at the end of the day, like especially at the end of day two of like having your period, I just get so tired at the end of the day, like from losing all the blood and going through all the period pain. I just like can't wait to go to sleep, but I did watch some Grey's Anatomy with my mom and we had some snacks, so that was really fun just to like wind down from my day. I had a really good day. I'm just so happy it's summer. I get to like really relax and like have a period and relax at the same time which is really nice to be able to take care of yourself and relax when you're on your period and even when we go back to school take care of yourself on your period because it's a really important time to take care of yourself and so yeah before you leave please like this video and if you made it to the end of this video comment down below I hate day two because honestly like I was on day two today and day two is just the worst and also please subscribe to my youtube channel to see tons more period content I make so many period videos I have a whole period playlist and I also have a whole like period vlogs playlist where all my period days and weeks in my life are so if you are interested and like more period vlogs and like routines for me definitely go check those out and yeah that is it for this video thank you guys so much for watching it and i love you guys bye